Welcome to Splatoon 3 Predictions, the weekly show where I sit down and talk about stuff that you guys wanted me to talk about. No joke, I asked on Twitter what you guys want to hear today, and a big shout out to PeaceGamerR for suggesting the idea of me covering new ranked mode ideas, which reminded me... There were a few modes that didn't get to see the light of day in Splatoon 2. I will be talking about brand new modes that were never heard of in another predictions video, so this video will only cover the scrapped pre-existing modes. This information may have been very outdated, but it wouldn't hurt to look at what Nintendo decided to not dump into the live game. Anyway, let the casual player talk about ranked modes. For those that haven't been following Splatoon 2 since pretty much the beginning, honestly, this was all happening during the first year of the game, and boy, this is a doozy. I'm sure many people recognize the name Oatmeal Dome, a certified Nintendo leaker and data miner that has been doing this for generations and is also the person who brought the whole Splatoon 3 being global conversation. They were able to discover two ranked modes, which today we know are scrapped, both of them named Rocket and 8-Ball. Let's talk about this one first. Rocket is a combination of Splat Zones, Rainmaker, and Tower Control. And I'm not even joking, you'll see what I mean. In order to play the mode, there is a rocket that spawns in the middle of the map. The player has to shoot it, and then it gnomes out of existence temporarily. As the rocket lifts off, an overpowered weapon gets dropped, allowing the player to carry it and wreak havoc. This might have been one of the reasons why the mode was scrapped, simply because it was too overpowered and they couldn't find a way to balance it. But eventually, the rocket lands on the ground, leading to a lower number on the objective bar. But to prevent it from being too easy, the rocket takes a significant amount of damage for it to proceed further on the map. I feel like I should mention that it doesn't matter where you shoot, because the rocket has a fixed path. What I mean by this is that every time the rocket lifts off, it goes down by 20. Can't believe I have to edit in math. To summarize, your goal is to shoot the rocket until it reaches the enemy spawn. For the attacking team, it probably gets more and more difficult to achieve a knockout, as the rocket will require more damage to progress. I feel like it would be the other way around for the defending team, since they don't have to put in as much damage compared to the attacking team, since it is closing in towards their base. And it's good, as it can keep the players motivated and find a reason why they should continue defending the objective. This game feels like tug of war in a way, but it's the other way around. Unfortunately, the fate of this mode might have been unbearable, as it may have been replaced by Clam Blitz since this was discovered before the 2.0 update. There were other elements attached to the mode, such as picking up objects scattered across the map and compiling them all together. It's confusing because I explained the whole mode without even mentioning scattered parts throughout the map, and I feel like it plays exactly like Clam Blitz. You collect clams until you get the power clam, and then you throw that into your opponent's barrier. Good game. I can go into so much more detail about the rocket mode, but we would be here for hours. The next mode I would like to talk about is the 8-ball mode. Another mode that was supposed to be in the game, but ended up being scrapped as well. The rules for this mode are pretty simple, and plays exactly like Rainmaker. However, this might be triggering to some people, because I'm about to remind everyone of the trauma they've endured while playing Octo Expansion. Your goal is to escort the 8-ball to the opposing team's base. Unfortunately, Nintendo doesn't like it whenever someone posts something that didn't make it into the final game, but I can see them adding that mode as potential filler to add to the chaos feeling of Splatoon 3. Not gonna lie, this mode looks like a lot of fun, because it relies heavily on teamwork and coordination, but the downside to that is that there are barely any options for communication. Another fun factor is that you actually have to engage with the objective. What I mean is that it's not like you have to wait for something to be completed, like tower control. There isn't much info regarding that mode compared to Rocket, but it is a neat little concept. And these are both of the scrap modes that were meant to exist, but never did. Hopefully these end up in Splatoon 3, because come on, there's been actual code written for both modes. They must at least have some space in the game to place it in, right? If they don't make it, then they'll just be permanent legends that we'll never get to experience. But I would like to know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys think about each of these modes? Do you think they will come back and finally see the light in Splatoon 3? Or will they just sit and continue gathering dust? Spoiler alert, this is going to be one of the many prediction videos that are coming out during the week, because I have a feeling that Nintendo will pull a sneaky. Have a lovely day, don't forget to stay hydrated, touch grass, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!